Yo, what's going on? Christopher Lopez here with BeastBrotherhood.com and in today's video we're going to be covering how to drop a ton of body fat over the next seven days, over the next week. Um, if you came across this video because you were searching for a quick way to drop a ton of weight, this is the wrong video and I'm going to tell you why. If you, if you have 10, 20, 30 pounds to drop, you're not going to drop it in a week. It's just not possible. It's not going to happen. If you're looking for a quick fix, this is the wrong video. But what I can do, that, what I can do is this. I can promise you guys to help you set up a game plan uh, over the next seven days that will help you drop a substantial amount of body fat. So let's dive right in. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to break it down uh, day by day, seven days. I'm going to give you a tip that you can do on each of those days, which by the time the seven days is over, you're going to have a complete game plan, a list of action steps of what you can do, and uh, you should be dropping body fat relatively quickly, jumping into the following week. Um, if you if you start doing hacks, guys, the problem with those is if you go off of that and you go back to your old habits, um, you're going to put the weight back on. That's why we're not covering hacks in this video. So first things first, day one. What is your ultimate goal? You have to figure out what your ultimate goal is. To say you want to drop body fat is not good enough. So you have to say drop 10 pounds, drop 20 pounds. You can even put a time limit on it. Maybe drop 10 pounds in 8 weeks, drop 10 pounds in 12 weeks. You know, um, you, you, The more specific the goal, the, the better you can dial your, your plan together uh, or dial in your plan to, to hit that goal. So day one, figure out your ultimate goal. What is it? Name it. Write it down. Best thing you guys can do is get a notebook, um, rewatch this video, and then write this stuff down. So what's your ultimate goal? Write it down. Once you have that, you have to know why you're doing it. What I tend to see with a lot of guys who set superficial goals, um, I used to be one of them, so I know, <laughs> um, uh, is that when you have a goal like get a six-pack or you have a goal like get more attention from women or you have a goal where it's kind of a superficial thing. Like you know when you state the goal that it's superficial, right? Um, there's no substance to it. It's very easy to fall off track. But when you figure out your why to where it's rooted deeper, all right? So maybe say you're middle age, you're in your 30s or 40s, and you are looking to build muscle, get strong, lose body fat, get back in shape because heart disease runs in your family and you have kids and it hits home that you have young kids and you don't want to uh, have a heart attack like your father did. Or um, you know maybe you want to get off your blood pressure medication. Maybe your meds are making you feel like crap and you want to get back to feeling better. So all these things are deeper rooted in a deeper meaning. And when that happens, you are more likely to stick to your goals uh, that you set out to stick, with, to stick to because they're rooted to your family. They're rooted to uh, these, deeper, these deeper emotional attachments. And guess what? When you have these deeper rooted whys, the superficial goals come anyway. So uh, you'll still get your six pack. If you're single, you'll still get more attention from women. It'll happen by itself. But you want to pick a why that's deeper rooted in, in a deeper meaning. Um, and that will help you reach your goal faster and be more efficient when doing so. Day number three, you have to look at your schedule and choose your eating program accordingly. I see this is a problem with a lot of guys. <clears throat> they, they, they still think they have, they have to eat five meals a day. Um, while that is a great way to, to diet, and that's how I prefer to do it, because I feel better when I eat throughout the day, some people's schedules don't permit that. And if your schedule does not permit it because if you, you have a crazy job, maybe you're on your feet, you're on the floor a lot, maybe you're a doctor, maybe you, have, you, know, you work the ER, maybe you can't eat, you have to schedule and uh, pretty much set up your nutrition program around that. If you don't do that, you're, you're setting yourself up for failure. Um, so take a good look at your schedule, figure out what you can drop, what you can add. If it's, if it's you know, do your part. You don't want to just say, this is my schedule, this is what it is. This is what it is. So you have to do your part and figure out what things in your schedule can be, can be changed by you to make it work, all right? And pick your eating program accordingly. You can do fasting in the morning. I know a lot of guys do that and then have a big dinner. Maybe you have to eat all your meals in the, in the beginning of the day. You got to figure out what's going to work. If you can eat five meals a day, great. If you can't, great. Figure out what's going to work for you. And whatever you can stick with based on your daily, your daily routine is, is what you should go with. Um, that will ultimately make the eating portion easier. And as you guys know, eating is what drives 
results. Okay, you can work out as much as you want, but if you're not eating right, you know you're you're, you're going to get half-assed results. Day number four: figure out your training program. So you like eating, you have to find a training program that speaks to you. To me, it's bodybuilding and strength training. That's what I love to do. I will always love to do that. That's my that's my bread and butter. That's 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 me. But you have to figure out a program that's going to fit your lifestyle. So you have to figure out if it's lifting based, if it is um, kettlebell circuit based, maybe it is, maybe you like to do boot camps or you know, God forbid, CrossFit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, you know, figure out what, what training program speak, speaks to you and do that, okay? Uh, but also know that your training program has to align with your goals. So if you're looking to put on the most amount of muscle possible, your best bet's probably to go with the bodybuilding program. Sorry to say, um, because the main goal of bodybuilding is building muscle. If you're looking to be athletic, then you can do like a hybrid. You can do bodybuilding, you can do strength training, you can do conditioning circuits, you can mix it up quite a bit. So make sure you know what training style speaks to you. Make sure it aligns with the goals that you set out for yourself and it aligns with how you're going to be eating, etc. Day number five, figure out where you're going to train. A lot of gyms have different types of equipment. For example, my gym has no machines. We don't even have cardio machines at my gym. So you have to figure out how your training program is going to fit at the gym you plan to train at. Or maybe you pick a gym that actually fits the criteria of what you want in your, out of your training program. Um, so you obviously wouldn't pick a boot camp if you want to lift weights. It just doesn't match, right? So don't be price driven. Pick a gym that actually is going to align with your goals. You're going to get to your goals much faster. Um, and, you know, it, you'll just be a happier person. There's, there's nothing like going to a gym that doesn't have over 50 pound dumbbells. Some of them don't, um, <laughs> but if that's the case and that's your only option, you have to make do, you know, and there's there's posts on this blog that will help you with that. Um, a post on my blog that will help you with that. If you, if you don't know the blog, it's jerseybeast.tv, go visit it if you're not on it already. Um, so make sure you, your gym matches your training program and you have what you need access to access at your gym. These next two days are crucial. So day six and day seven are crucial. Day six, you need to figure out your food list that matches your diet program. All right. And you need to figure out the supplements you're going to take. If you take them, they're not necessary by any means. Um, but if you plan on taking supplements, you have to figure out which ones match uh, your eating program and which ones will help you get there faster. So if you're going to be taking shakes, you got to figure out which shake you're going to take. I have a good recommendation, but I'll leave it out of this video. Um, if you guys want more information on that, just comment down below and I'll point you in the right direction. Um, but figure out your food list and your supplements. Okay. The reason why these next two days are crucial are because food rules all. But if you screw your food up, you're, you're not going to get the best results possible in the, in the, most, in the least amount of time. Um, so once you have a food list and your supplements picked out, then it's time for day seven where you meal prep and you set all your foods aside for the week. If you don't meal prep, you will get no more than half the results that you want. What winds up happening is you may be, get, you may be able to get away with it for a few weeks, a month um, of kind of eating pretty good. But what's going to happen is you're going to get too comfortable. You're going to be at work one day. You're not going to have your meals. You're going to eat out at work. You're going to eat out at dinner. You're going to order food at home once you get home from a long day because you don't feel like cooking. So you have to pick a day on the week, during the week. Usually for me, it's a Saturday or Sunday. My wife and I cook food. Um, but you have to plan ahead. If you're not planning this stuff these last two days, this, this, your food list and your meal prep, it's just not going to work long term. All right? So just to wrap it up, stop looking for quick fixes. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. Take the next seven days and figure out your game plan and you will thank me. It will make your life much, much easier. If you don't have a notebook, get one, watch this video again and go through the days and write down what you need to do. If you need help with this stuff, please comment down below. Let me know what questions you have, what you need help with, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Maybe even shoot a personalized video for you guys on the channel. Um, but uh, I'm here to help. So any questions, leave them down below. Last thing before I go, as always, on the right side of the screen, click the link, uh, the card that comes up for your free 
training gift. Uh, it's just my way of saying thank you for watching my stuff, commenting, liking my channel, subscribing, um, and being interactive and awesome. That's all I got, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you need help. I'm here to help you guys out. Um, no questions asked. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.